And we find ourselves at one of the most iconic venues in world football, the Santiago Bernabeu here on the Spanish capital, Madrid. I'm Derek Ray, and joining me in the commentary position is the former England defender, Lee Dixon. And everyone here on tenterhooks, you'd have to say, with good reason. It's Real Madrid facing Milan. Yeah, thank you, Derek. Lovely to be here. I can't wait for this one. A nice quick tempo from both sides will be ideal for me. Let's hope we get that. Should be a great game. And the starting players for Real Madrid. Thibaut Courtois is in goal. Ferlon Mendy plays with Carvajal as fullbacks. Vinicius Junior starts with Aiden Azar out wide. And beginning the game up front today, Karim Benzema. Here's the Milan team. Pretty well balanced this formation, Lee. Yeah, it can be a 4-2-3-1 in the offensive mode, but it can also go back to a 4-5-1 when you're defending. The lone striker will be supported by the three just behind him, especially the number 10 who will be given a free roll. And so the drama begins here at the Bernabeu. Tony Kroos. Mendy has it. Real Madrid have given it away. Zlatan Ibrahimovic. A bit sloppy in possession. Milan moving the ball forward. What can they do from here? And no nonsense defensive clearance. Mendy. Promising looking ball. Benzema, Carvajal, now with Benzema, able to get his body in the way. Unable to keep the ball that time. Vinicius. Play towards Azar, back first. It's an effective clearance. Well, Lee, interested to get your opinion in the potential approach of the visitors today. Well, I suppose you can't blame them for travelling away and adopting a defend-what-we-have mentality. He's in behind. Can they stop it going in? Vinicius Jr. In possession lost, intercepted. In behind for him to chase. Now he's got to stay calm. Offside by a fraction. Course. Modric. Well, they must exercise caution standing off as they are. What can Real do from this position? Can he put them in front? Well, it was a wonderful chance, but the goalkeeper comes through. Well, he's done really well with his angles there. Good reactions too. And he's fired over the corner. Azar. They'll repeat the trick. Corner again. Well, Derek, listen to that noise. The crowd can sense something. Can the players use that to their advantage? They really, really need to put this pressure on.
short corner favourite. Course. Well, the keeper was always likely to do his job under no pressure. Well, Derek, look at those stats for Real Madrid. Dominating possession over the last 15 minutes. Can they keep that pressure on and get the goal their play deserves? They just need to be a little bit more clinical. Vinicius Jr. Carvajal pulls it back. What a vital intervention. Azar, well read to put an end to that attack. Alexis Salamakers. It's with Diaz. Kessier. In a position from which they could potentially do a bit of damage here. Might be a chance here. Splendid save from the keeper. Danger averted. Yeah, he didn't have long to react to that, but you have to praise his reflexes there. Corner kick played in. Well, a chance here perhaps to invigorate their aerial targets. So the corner played into the box. And a goal to open the scoring. No wonder they're celebrating. Well, here's the replay, and it's a dangerous set piece into the box. And what a great finish as well. Good connection with the ball, leaving the goalkeeper absolutely no chance. Fantastic goal. Well, the action underway. Can Real find a response now? Tony Kroos. Mendy has it. Still trailing, but they're upping the pressure. Well, an easy one to cut out, really. Dangerous looking through ball. Tony Kroos over the touchline for a throw in Kea couldn't hang on to it Benzema showing a real will to win the ball And the electronic board showing one additional minute. Sandro Tonali. Really nice ball. Well, good defending. Clattered out of there. And now the delivery. And the keeper deals with the danger. Terrific block. Oh, Karim Benzema has been a top striker for so many years, but even the best have days when it doesn't go to plan, and this has been one such day. Yeah, really hasn't been able to carve out any opportunities today. Certainly hasn't tested the keeper much. We expect more from him, but you can see why they're struggling today. And the first half is in the history books here at the Bernabeu. Well, Zlatan Ibrahimovic can be so difficult to keep quiet, and that was the case in the first half. Lee, your thoughts? Well, Derek, it certainly was a good 45 minutes from the lad. Obviously got the goal to give him the lead, but he's looked very, very lively as well. Well, Milan in front after the first 45 minutes, but a long way from being decided. 
And they did have the ball, but not anymore. Real Madrid are totally dominating possession. However, after that, the coach will be disappointed with what they've produced. They need to be a little bit more clinical in front of goal. The referee spotted the infringement, and it will be a free kick in a position of genuine menace. making sure that was pushed well away from danger and it crossed the touchline so a throw in here and space to cross it Benzema going about his defensive business with a minimum of fuss poor touch and they no longer have custody of the ball What can Real do from this position? Well, they were possessing the ball well, but now they've lost it. Oh, they've lost it. Really getting stuck in. Rebic. They all know their roles as they apply the pressure. Federico Valverde. And plenty of scope to be creative in that wide position. And lining it up. Look at Modric. Now with Benzema. Possession and patience, the watchwords. Benzema. Well, that takes the wind out of their sails. Great defending. Well, pressing really high. Teo Hernandez and winning it back Vinicius cuts it back crucial intervention just then amid impending danger struggling to keep the ball Alaba well that's the kind of play you want from your defender Kors well, when you sit off like this, you invite pressure. And he's broken free. And a goal! The keeper couldn't stop it. Real Madrid on terms. Well, here it is again. He does so well to slip past his man, left him stranded, and he chooses to use power in the finish. Not much chance for the keeper when he's hit that hard. Yes, a show of emotion, and why not? They're back in this game on. Substitution for Real Madrid. Well, the earlier goal cancelled out. One apiece. Del Real Madrid. Con el siete. Given away by Milan. Cambio en el Madrid. Esto se anima. Sale de la cancha. Con el 8. Carvajal. Entrará en el terreno de juego. Con el 2. Vinicius Jr. Isco. And the danger is averted. But he could run onto it here. And offside it is. And it is substitution time at this juncture. Not just from one side, but from both. Valverde. Isco. On to Benzema. And return to Isco. Has a go. Sound piece of goalkeeping. Rebic. It's with Ibrahimovic. Davide Calabria. Calabria.
delivered into the box firing it towards goal Isco and level it is in the closing moments can Real Madrid change that Luka Modric can he put them in front he does and with so little time left that might be the winner wonderful drama well we could take another look at this there's nothing much the keeper can do close range finish really good play and he doesn't miss from there well the goal again albeit from a different angle What a big moment in the dying embers. Will it prove decisive here? Well, the Real Madrid fans are certainly having a big say in this game so far. Just listen to the noise they're making, urging their team forward. Can they do something positive on the counter-attack? End product or not? Well, this could pose problems for the defenders. This could level it. Well, he did his job defensively. Mendy. Inside the final two minutes of this contest. And showing fine vision. Well, the flag has gone up. It was really close. Zlatan Ibrahimovic getting in there to take it away. And the referee is going to add on three minutes. Federico Valverde. Real find themselves in a position of menace. Isco. Isco! Still a chance. And I think the threat has been averted. So there goes the final whistle. Real Madrid victorious and their fans will be heading home happily. Yeah, well, it could really have gone either way. It was so competitive for much of the game, but they just kept pushing. They kept believing and probably deserved the winner in the end. Great result. Gareth Bale knows how to make things happen. How would you critique his display? Well, he's always a danger, isn't he? No more so when he grabbed that goal. He never disappoints me when I watch him. He's just too good, simple.